For question 16, we are going to do f of g of x, given two functions, and this is the function for f, and that's the function for g. And let's get to work. 16. f, little circle, g. This is f of g, and let's see how to do this, okay, of x. This means I'm going to have the f on the outside, and then the big parentheses, okay, a big parentheses first, and then I'm going to plug in g of x, the function g of x inside of the function f. Okay? So we are going to have f and then the big parentheses. g of x, we know it's x to the third power minus 2. So I'm going to replace x to the third power minus 2 for g. And then I need to do f of x to the third power minus 2. What I need to do is I'm going to take this, plug into all the x's that I see in the function f. So um, first of all, as, as we can see that f of x is equal to x squared, I see the x, so I'm going to put a parenthesis, and then what we are going to put in the parenthesis is this, x to the third power minus 2. x to the third power minus 2. Now raised to the second power, and then minus 2, and then I see the x again from uh, the function f. So put a parenthesis, instead of this parenthesis, we are going to put x to the third power minus 2 x to the third power minus 2, and then plus 1, uh, plus 1 at the end. Okay, and then how do we do this? Don't just leave the answer like this. Okay, we want to combine like terms, simplify it as much as we can. So let's take a look of this part, and let me do this on the side. We have x to the third power minus 2 raised to the second power. Okay, this means we have x to the third power minus 2, times x to the third power minus 2. I'm just looking at this part and I just want to do the uh, calculation on the side. And then, uh, we just need to follow this, right? We write this down twice and then we take x to the third power times x to the third power. That will produce x to the sixth power. We add the exponents when you multiply uh, these two terms. And then we have x to the third power times negative 2. That's minus 2x to the third power we are done with this x to the third power, move to the negative 2. Take this, multiply by this negative, multiply by this x to the third power. So we get x, we get minus 2x to the third power. Negative 2 times negative 2, we get plus 4. Then we are going to have x to the third, uh, sixth power. These two things can be combined because they both have x to the third power. Negative 2, negative 2, that's minus 4, and then we keep the same, x to the third power, plus the 4 at the end. So this, it's the result of x to the third power minus 2, and then square. So I'm going to go back to this, and then I'm going to replace this with x to the sixth, minus 4x to the third power, plus 4. And then move to the second term, the middle one right here. I need to distribute, I need to distribute a negative 2 to the x to the third power. That we will get negative 2 x to the third power. And then negative 2 times this negative 2, we get plus 4. And then at the end, we have the plus 1. Is there anything that we can combine? Is there anything that we can add or subtract? Yes, there are. x to the 6, unfortunately, that's just by itself. So. That's the uh, only x to the 6 that we have. But we see that negative x to the, we see that negative 4x to the third power. We also see the negative 2x to the third power. Together, that's negative 6, right? Well, you can think about this as minus 6x to the third power. And then the numbers I have a 4 plus 4, which is 8, and then plus 1. That's a 9. Okay, so I think this is uh, it. I don't think we need to go any more further. And that's it, okay? That's it.